Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. Let's jump in and go for another run. Uh, let's jump in as someone interesting. Andromeda we've almost done. Let's do Tinted Andromeda Greedia mode. How about that? That's something that we haven't done yet and it seems like it could be a little wacky, a little weird. Um, I don't even know what the unlocks would be for this guy. But, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued is all I can say. Uh, so I think I can use my charge in here and get Crooked Penny, which is a pretty wacky one to get right off the right off the rip, to be honest. Um, yeah, well, that's that's good stuff so far. That's good stuff so far. <laughs> we got golden bombs. I like that. Um, we got Singularity Charge again here that we can pop in here. Uh, drops one uh, and grants a stat boost. This is pretty good. I like this. We get ourselves forever alone, which obviously isn't great, but it does provide us with that stat bonus, which I quite like, so I'm not particularly uh, at odds with it. Uh, we get another golden bomb here, which is nice. Okay, this is a weird start, but I, I, I think I like it. I think I'm down. I think I'm down to clown with this strangeness. What a what a weird little setup we've created for ourselves off the bat here. Uh, Crooked Penny, yeah, I don't really know like how much use we're gonna actually get out of Crooked Penny, but I don't know. It, it seems like it could be kind. It seems like it could be kind of good. Seems like it could be kind of good. Let's just destroy these pots real quick. See if we get any coins out of them to try and get another item. Sadly not. Okay, then we go. But here we're gonna be creating a lot of items because of the pennies. Like it's kind of weird because we're not gonna be buying any items because there's none there. But we are going to be creating a lot due to the pennies we're picking up. And we get Jelly Belly there, which is a pretty good item to grab. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really strange but interesting idea. Um, Crooked Penny's a really weird one because we're not really going to be getting much out of it. Uh, we do need to make sure we can afford to buy uh, keys first because obviously Crooked Penny could end up deleting the keys. But yeah, this is one of the more strange ideas we've got for a run. I mean, I could also Crooked Penny the pennies, but that seems like a really sort of sketchy idea. <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's all that uh, all that good of an idea for the most part. I like the fact that our pennies will slowly come towards us. I can't believe that hit me there. The amount of uh, reach them fires has is uh, higher than I uh, anticipated. <laughs> and it's also nice as well, this this size of rooms. So we've always got the thing in the middle there, hitting everything. I don't know, I like this. It's weird. It's a strange old run to have. I never really sort of considered how this would play with this character. Um, so, it's kind of a, a whole new idea to me. If uh, As for the question of the day, if you were to add, add a new game mode to Isaac, because obviously we've got normal and then greed mode, if you were to add another game mode, what would you... What would you go for? What do you think would work as a, as a game mode in Isaac? Jelly Belly just saved me a bit of damage there. And then I immediately took damage straight after. I'm actually having a really hard time with uh, hitting a lot of these enemies here because of the large size of the room. It's a little difficult. Can you die, please? Thank you. Yeah, some of these, some of these enemies make it really hard to hit them. Especially spiders. Spiders are the absolute worst, man. Okay, what do I actually want to do here now? I guess I do that again, yes, and hope for more keys. It's good stuff. Pop that, we get the D6. Um, I think the D6 is pretty goddamn good. Because with the D6, we're going to be able to create a bunch of items in one room and re-roll them all, right? That seems to make sense to me. Okay, this is this is going to be a bit rough. I can't remember what triple pin even does in terms of shooting at us, so get ready for the excitement of, of that. The thing is as well, I can't even push my bombs towards the enemies easily like I normally do. Pushing the bombs doesn't really work in this scenario. I think I am just going to have to just use my bombs and not fire. I think it's way better for us. There's another pin dead, I think. Yeah, unfortunately, bombing the pins is pretty difficult, but we got there in the end. Okay, cool, we got that. Retribution's giving us errors. Um, don't know why. Okay. 
I'm very glad that I have this going on right now so I can just keep bombing you. You're a pretty horrible boss, to be honest, um, to set up this with. Okay, you do your thing, you fly around. And I'll just keep bombing you and hope for the best. I think this is it, last bomb? Yeah, good, good, good. Okay, a little bit sketchy, but we got there in the end. We are not going to take the devil deal, obviously. Uh, do I have to kill you guys, really? Apparently I do. Apparently they're not spooked forever. Oh, there's a pin? When the when, when in the shit did you get here? <laughs> Genuinely have no idea where the fuck you came from, boy. Yeah, that was that was kind of strange. Anyways, down to the next floor. I should probably look for secret room now that we've got golden bombs as well, really, on this floor if I can. Just in case we can get something extra out of this floor. Let's take a little look around. I never really know where Secret Room's going to be here, but I'll, I'll, I'll check the regular locations. I suppose I could blow up these as well. Why not? We're not under any stupid time constraints at the moment, so why not? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so many red hearts and nothing to do with them. Okay, I think we're out of luck, unfortunately. I don't think we've got secret room here. No, we don't. Right, let's just go. We've got good money. Um, I don't really know what we use our money for. I guess hopefully soul hearts is the main thing we're going to spend our money on. We've got a good amount of keys already. We come in here and we grab that charge. We create our item in here. We come in here. We grab this charge. And we create our item here. Then we take a look what's going on in here. I can open that, can't I, from here? Ooh, hello. It's an item. I could just let him throw everything in here, but it's getting a bit sketchy. Chill out, boy. Spider, please, please go away. Uh, I think this is a good item to take, but I think we come in here and we pop this. And we start re-rolling. That's very good. That's very good. Extra vision can be re-rolled. And we leave it there and hopefully don't accidentally pick it up. So that we can grab it, so that we can re-roll it later once we've got a charge available. But also hopefully once we've spawned more items. Because we're going to be getting more pennies, creating more items. I think the D6 is like one of the best possible items we could have got here. Because it, it means we can use our charges more readily because we can create the items in this room. Which is obviously not normal. Also, I quite like having Parasite plus, um, plus piercing. It's very, very nice. Don't, however, like this room. This room is kind of gross. I'm hoping Jelly Belly saves us for the most part. What I don't like is this little slimy boy creating creep everywhere. Can, can, can we kill him, please? Why is he avoiding me so much? <laughs> He's literally, like, always at the opposite side of the room to me. I'm actually having a really, really hard time here. He literally is always at the opposite side of the room to me. Like, how do I actually kill this guy? Oh my god, this is actually kind of a nightmare. There's just creep everywhere and I can't kill the guy that's creating it. Quite the predicament here. Oh my lord. This is such a difficult setup for enemies. My god. The amount of enemies in here that I'm having a really hard time killing is uh, too damn high. The burn arrow is not very good. Okay, but... Dude, this, th I might just die here. This is so difficult. I can't fucking kill these enemies. Oh, that bomb just got yeeted. I really needed that bomb to work for killing these guys. Right, you go. You're just annoying me. Oh, 
Oh, I almost got him. There you go, we finally got him. We finally got them as well. Oh my lord. Okay, re-roll these two. Uh, both re-rollable yet again, I think. Um, although that is a familiar. I think both of these are familiars, actually. Um, so both of these would give us some decent stuff. I'm going to take this one because it gives us the all stats up. And it is another fly. Right, we've got a plenty of money to work with here. So I think we play this guy because we don't need the money for much else. We hope to charge up our active so we can re-roll a bit more. <clears throat> I will blow up you two and see if we get anything out of you two. Lovely stuff we did. I'm very worried about my HP at the moment. Really am. We re-roll that. Max HP, here's one. Gives a random smelted worm or bug trinket. Smelts any... Let's let's gamble on this, shall we? Because I want the HP. We got Wiggle Worm. That's not bad. Wiggle Worm gives us a fire rate increase. Um, I, I don't want to play you more yet, I don't think. Yeah, Wiggle Worm ain't bad. Yeah, this this room is particularly quite difficult for this. I, I definitely would like a damage up if we can get one. That would, uh, I think, alleviate some of our problems. I think at the minute we're just killing things too slowly. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a slow burn, I think. Oh my lord, that's a lot of bats. That's a lot of bats. Pop that up there. Oh, yes, please. Bravery is very helpful. That is kind of the damage up we're looking for. Especially against champion enemies. I'm very happy to be dealing extra damage to champion enemies. Because it essentially means they no longer have extra HP. And also, just it's very nice to be able to kill bosses this quickly now. The bosses are dying so much faster. Look at that. Beautiful. Angel Deal, please, please give us something amazing. We don't have a charge, unfortunately, which is unfortunate. I probably should have thought about that. That's very good, although it doesn't technically work. Um, it did work there. Do I want to crack that open? Yeah, I will. I will. Crack it again. Monstrance. Good stuff. Okay. Right. Very good stuff there. Um, I will spend some of my money on this guy trying to get a battery-themed item. But yeah. Prosperity, whatever it's called, is a bit broken. I'm only going to go down to like 20 cent, I think. Is guy going to pay out with anything? No. Nope. You're a bastard, man. You're a bastard. Those guys just never pay out. Right, anyways. Continue on. Yeah, so you'll see some weird stuff going on with our flies and stuff here. It seems to be working for now, but there's there's some weird coding issues with, with this item that creates some, some funky stuff. Yeah, it, it's already broken. It's already broken. Right, um... Remove prosperity... Give friend zone, is it? Give. I don't know what the other one's called now. Um, best friend? Is it best friend? I think we've got them all now. No, there's, there's one of them we don't have. Oh, best friend's the active item. God damn it. Give D6. I also accidentally lost my overcharge there. Um, friend zone, and what's the other one called? Why are all the fly items got such bullshit names? I'm going to have to go to um, Isaac Guru. Fly. Just look up all the fly items. Okay, that didn't work for it. Um, what's the little blue one called? God damn it, why do I not remember the names of these things? I can't even find it. This is going to be so hard to find. Fly item. Where art thou? There's distant admiration. It's not that one. No, 
that's not that one. Forever Alone, is it Forever Alone? Forever Alone. Give. Forever. Oh, what now? Give. Forever. Alone. Right, there you go. Now we've duplicated them. Good, good. Right, okay. So, I want to pop this down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Um, is it debug 10? No. 8? Yeah. There you go. Just to get my charge back because I already wasted one charge. I'm not wasting two. Right. That. Angry Fly. My god. Um, so I'll take Angry Fly. And apparently Angry Fly doesn't count, but I, I give myself another Angry Fly. Why, why does Angry Fly not count as a familiar? It's kind of annoying. Also, why are my tears a different colour now? Buy a few of these keys. Why not? Okay, and here we go. Pop both of these out here. Corpse Flyer I think we can take, but Celtic Cross I'm willing to uh, re-roll. I'll hold off on re- actually no, I'll re-roll it once now. Eight hey, Mustard Seed's good. We'll take Mustard Seed. Okay, all sorts of shen shenanigans going down right now. I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Prosperity is a weird one. I really wish it would get fixed, but I don't know if, if it ever will. It's, the thing is, it's part of the um, it's part of the Jerb mod, but the uh, creator of Jerb, I believe, doesn't work on Isaac anymore. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think I think that's the case. Right. Let's just keep trucking along with what we've got going on, because I think we've, we've got a very good build going on right now. Our health is better as well, which is nice. No, thank you for you. We've not managed to create any... Oh, there you go. I was going to say create any friends yet, but there is one there, actually, technically. I'm just annoyed Angry Fly doesn't count as a familiar. Like, Mother's Love didn't give us any bonus damage for our Angry Fly. That's just racist. Take them all out. Oh god, you're pooping out loads of stuff. I don't know what to think. Also, give me that penny. Yeah, I, I literally don't care about an accuracy down at all, so that's fine. Accuracy down at the minute means, like, literally nothing to us. Beautiful. I'm liking having flight as well, just just for these these rooms that have like a lot of rocks and like floor tiles missing. Let's hold on to our charge for the potential of an angel deal here. There's a slightly tricky room here, but we got it. And boss man. It is an angel as well. Birds well for our potential angel deal. I can't remember if when you create a devil deal, if you still have to purchase it. I don't think you do. I can't remember. Nice. Good, good. We did get an angel deal as well. Awesome. And we got HP as well. Awesome. Chimera is insane. Like, absolutely god tier. Um, I think I'm going to re-roll that with the key piece. Do the key pieces spawn in greed mode? I believe they do. I'm not entirely sure, though, I'll be honest. There's no reason for them to spawn, but I feel like they do still. They do still good. And then I can do that. 
We got Spirit Sword. I, I genuinely don't know how Spirit Sword would work with this. I think it would just ruin everything, so I think I'm going to leave it, which is a shame. Because it's a cool item, but I think it would genuinely just ruin everything. Right. We've got a very good run on our hands here. Let's keep it going. And get ready to create some more items. I, I, I genuinely think this character is a very good character for greed mode. I didn't think it would be, but it, it really is. Um, cool, and then I can pop. Doot and doot. Slick's made definitely deep pockets doesn't really do anything for us. Ooh, finally we got soul hearts, which is what we've been waiting for. We'll buy two more keys here. Um, three more keys. We will come over here and open up this little shop thing over here because I want to see what's available to purchase. Fire rate increase is... I don't actually know if fire rate increase would do anything for us, but I'm going to purchase it anyways on the off chance it works. I didn't. Just shot speed up. And then the rest of the money we get this for, we can just spend on HP. Cool. Good stuff. Right. Away we go. So we want to produce as much items as we can. And then re-roll everything. What are you doing, big fella? Want to chill out? Oh, I did not mean to get hit there. That was kind of bad. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, this this penny trinket triggers random. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not having that happen. No, thank you. That's not useful to me. Um, anybody have a look base chance to spawn a random locust on death? I think that's pretty useful. I'll take that. I'll re-roll that. Heartship balloon's incredible. I'll take that. Good, good. We've got a lot of tier effects going on right now as well. Wow, Belly Jelly just saved me from a full champion hit there, so... Big thank you to that. Oh, no way. That enemy was Midas Touch Frozen from Slick Spade. And then that other item made it so it didn't die correctly and didn't actually produce any gold, which is actually quite upsetting. <laughs> We are going to get Sacrificial Blood on occasion, which is nice. Sacrificial Blood will allow us to use it, which just counts as a card, basically. So we'll get some uh, extra stuff from that. K kill kill the guy that's frozen. Oh, and it didn't kill him in the right way again. Dude, that's so annoying. Just trigger the on-death effects correctly, please. I want more of the money. Model Rocket, I literally have no idea how that will work, so why not take it? It seems like it could be game-breaking, or it could be really bad. <laughs> and I'm willing to find out. Cool. Up to full HP. Very nice. It seems pretty good. It seems like the shot speed is uh, is pretty wild and it's adding up to a lot of damage. Which is rather good for us. It's kind of hard to hit things a little bit, but I think overall it's a, it's a positive. And we got Skolex coming in. It's, it's very hard to fire up now, though. Like, you've got to be basically standing in the direction you want to fire. If you're fire, trying to fire up, it doesn't really work anymore. Just because it slows down the tier so much initially. Good, good. We'll try and come in and get our angel deal here again as well. We get the sun, which is not a fun boss. Yeah, firing up is, is particularly quite difficult here, as you can see. I've got to kind of stand up here with stuff to fire up. Which kind of works. It's not great, but it, it kind of works. Okay, we did get an angel deal. Lucky us. 
And we go, we destroy this again. Lovely stuff. And we go boom. Holy Mantle's obviously great. And we go boom. Stairway's pretty great too. Um, we've only got, what, two floors left, but I think Stairway's maybe worthwhile anyways. And then we just reroll that. Trinity Shield's fine by us. Right. Away we go. <laughs> this is such a wacky build that we've created here. What a mess. I love it. What a wonderful mess. Right, up for Stairway first. So stairway doesn't actually have items, which I didn't expect. For some reason. I don't know why I didn't expect that. But. But. Although this Stairway is not very useful, future ones can be because we can reroll this bad boy. We, should, we need to make sure we have a D6 available. Just need to make sure we have a D6 available. The stairway goes away when we leave, yeah. Okay, so. Boom bow. Boom bow. So you have to make it all dark and stuff. Book and bag. I don't care about either of those. Right. Charge up our D6 here. We are killing stuff pretty quick. We can also jump in this to get the herming and stuff that this gives on occasion. It's not super duper useful, but it is something. Okay, we can reroll these now into Sissy and Deadeye, maybe? I'm going to take this. I think it's Deadeye. No, it's Kane's Kane, Kane Other Eye. Kane's Other Eye is also fine. God damn this this is just hectic. This it's, it's very hard to figure out what's going on. Don't know what else we got there. Uh buttermilk or whatever that is, I don't like that item. So I won't be taking that. This little friendly dude that I've got on my side is actually kind of annoying. He's making a lot of noise and he's creating a lot of visuals, but aren't actually useful for me to know. See, so this is why Slick Spade is good. Creating extra money. I'm barely even aiming anymore. We only just lost our Holy Mantle, which is kind of surprising. Ow. Is that it? Everything dead? What's the other item we got here then? Um, odd mushroom. Again, I don't really care about that too much. Dr. Fetus. Plus Bobby Bombs. That's the only reason I took Dr. Fetus and then Slosto is not very good. This is terrible, by the way, um, if you haven't figured that out already. This is really, 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 really bad. But I'm like, Holy Mantle plus the health we've got, let's let's just gamble. And we've got Belly Jelly, and we've got um, Herming Bombs. So I'm like, do you know what? I think we actually have a potential build to make this work. I don't know why when a bomb explodes it creates a bunch of other bombs. Also, we, we can create Locusts for our bombs, right? On occasion. Yeah, it's, it's, it's working pretty well. Secret disc. I guess we'll plop this down here. Is that Wrath? I think that's Wrath. I don't think Wrath does anything for us here. I'm trying to destroy these, but it's, it's very difficult. I just want a single penny so I can create another, uh... Damn it, create another item. 
Wrath I don't really want, I'll be honest. I'm sorry. Right, this didn't go so well and I didn't get a charge ready for the next floor, so... With my D6 charge, that is. So, great. Can, can you bugger off, you stupid little shithead? I don't like you at all. You're just making a bunch of noise and being annoying. Get out of here. Right, down we go. I want him to die. Go into stairway. Good. We bomb you. That's not what I wanted at all, my guy. And we do that. And I think that's going to give us damage. It better. Yeah, it did. Good. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. Right. This has been a bit wacky thus far. There is trinkets for sale, which could be good. We should probably roll on the trinkets and see what we get. I want to destroy this fire real quick. Don't really know how plausible that is. There's a bunch of spiders now too. Great. Okay, peace. Taking damage to the chance spawns. Um, nah, nah. Mm -mm. The trinkets keep zooming towards me, which is annoying. Just keep buying. The padlock would be good on another run, but not this one. What does that do? Sigil of Samuel. Let's let's just drop it and see what it does. Killing enemy counts as being killed twice, causing Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna give that a go, I think. Grants explosion immunity. Holy fuck. <laughs> that makes our life easier. That makes our life a lot easier. Let's quickly stop with the explosion so I can pick up all my coins a minute. Ooh, what the hell are you? I've never seen you before. Be ahead. This is beautiful. This is truly something amazing. Also, I don't think that creep's going to go away, so I think we're kind of stuck at the moment. Did eventually go away. Um. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't know if it'll work with this, but I'll try it. I'm willing to give it a go. Can't believe we got bomb immunity. How amazing is that? Grab all of these coins real quick. We'll do this. Last one of these. Angel deal. Hello. Bomb you. I lose my holy mantle when I do that for some reason, which is weird. Then we go Q and Q and reroll all of these. We got Godhead, which I don't think does much for us, but still. Oh no, Godhead does work. Cool. Yeah, my bombs can destroy my holy mantle, but not damage me, which is, yeah, strange. Well, this has been a, a wacky adventure thus far. Just some HP. I guess I'll play you out and see what you give me. Speed? Actually, don't mind speed. Thank you. Good, good. Connect the bombs, and this guy's about to get his ass destroyed. Especially while he's in the middle there, because there's all the like weird spawning bombs in the middle that have Holy Mantle on them. 
It's pretty insane. I'm liking this. Yeah, I don't think there's much you're going to be able to do to kill us, my guy. I would like some of those pennies, please, though. Ah, uh, I can't produce items in here. Damn it. That's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. And we got bomb immunity, so second phase is, like, not even remotely a problem to us either, which is nice. Second phase basically can't do damage to us. You want to step into the middle there? Does that take your fancy? I literally can't move. I'm like bopping myself around. There you go, he's walking into the middle. You've made a foul, foul mistake, my guy. Yeah, when I took Dr. Fetus, I was like, this is going to go terribly. But I was like, no, nah, there's Bobby Bombs, it might be okay. But little did I know, Explosion Immunity would save us. Otherwise, we'd have had to have played... I think we could still could have won, but we'd have had to play very slow to make sure we didn't explode ourselves ever. Right, you're almost dead, my guy. You might as well just give up now. There's nothing you can do to kill me. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't know Godhead worked like this. It's cool, cool to know that it does. Rock spikes don't do much to me either. And there you go. Wow, that was quite the run. Who'd have thought this character would be so insanely good on greed mode? Either way, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, finish off this run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, I guess.